apprehensive and nervous, but um, everyone makes you feel really comfortable though, so. It's all good. Today I am stripping down and I'm being body painted and I am strutting my body and it's all full glory for the whole world to see. I'm feeling excited, a little bit anxious about the catwalk because I have trouble with my legs and I'm worried I'm going to fall flat on my face, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, and I feel included, which is something plus size women don't feel a lot of the time. To me, it feels liberating and empowering. I've chosen to do this because life after breast cancer treatment can be quite difficult to catch up. Your life becomes divided and I'm trying to find who the new person I've become. I feel this is a way to say goodbye to all oh, that shit. I think walking out on the catwalk would obviously be really nerve-wracking and I think my whole inside of my body will be going like that but on the outside you've just got to be. I think we as women judge ourselves so harshly because of the way how we're raised. We're raised to in fairy tales you know we teach little girls you're gonna grow up and you're gonna get married and the prince is gonna come and get you and then you're gonna live happy ever after and have babies and it really limits us as girls and as women to have to fit that mold in those certain, you know, milestone and in that certain age group. And the fact that I'm turning 33 and I'm not married, I don't have any kids, it's just not where I should have been if I was hitting those milestones, but that's okay. I just feel like in society, there's just too much pressure to to look good. You know, I just feel like it honestly doesn't matter. The impact I hope it has on women and myself is I hope by other women seeing me, I'm 58, I'm plus size, I'm a cancer survivor, that they can do it too. They can step out of their comfort zone because, my God, this is so far out of my comfort zone. <laughs>